What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of McGrath Fishing. Today, we are gonna be going out for some crappie. I wanna do another catch and cook. Rick Dominey's catch and cook was so good that walleye was amazing. I wanna go back out, catch some crappie, and do a crappie catch and cook. The same recipe, the same way he cooked it. I think it would taste amazing. So that's what we're gonna do out here. There are mosquitoes everywhere. We're gonna get this boat launched. See you out there. There you go. All right guys, back with the first fish of the night. She is bass fishing. I am crappie fishing. Grab it. Perfect. What the f Oh my gosh. All right guys, I'm just hand lining. Oh. Yeah. Guys, did you see that? All right guys, my first crappie. We are targeting crappie for the crappie catch and cook. And I got one, so I'm gonna dump this one in the live well. Hope we can get some more. If I can't, might throw them back, not sure, but. First 10 minutes out here, and already, and already one in the live well. Hello, Tommy. Hey, real quick, and I'll let you go. What's up? How many crappies can I keep? Tommy. How many? 25. 25? Yeah. No bullshit. Yeah. Damn, okay. As far as I know. Alrighty, well, sounds good. How many you got? So far, one, but we've been out here for like five minutes. I literally cannot es escape bass. Alright guys, you guys just saw me catch another one. I have a rock bass, a crappie, and a largemouth. Alright guys, I got one. I'm not sure what it is. Looks like a crappie. Definitely a crappie. There it is. All right, guys, another crappie, my second of the night. Like I said, you wear the slab slayer, you wear the follow the action gear, it brings you good luck. So this is my second one, going in the live well. Here we go. All right, guys, I'm going with the slip bobber technique tonight for the crappie. I'm using a mini mite, pink and white, always a good crappie color. So then I got a sinker right here. And then obviously my knot is set at about three feet, so. I'm just kind of casting the shoreline where I know some crappie are at. So I'm kind of just putting it out there. I'm letting it sit. After about like 30 seconds to a minute, I'm slowly dragging it. So you're kind of just pulling that bait. You're not pulling it to the surface with the slip bobber, just kind of waiting for it to go down. We already have two good ones. We're actually gonna get a good picture with both of those in a second. I got one. All right, guys, I'm hooked on again. Oh, man, look at, look at this crappie. Holy, Holy crap. <laughs> guys, look at this crappie. Let's take a pic of it by your hoodie. Wow. What, I'm gonna measure this thing. Pretty much like 13 and a quarter. 13 and a half inch crappie. Now that's a good one. This is gonna be a good eater tonight. Oh man, look at the mouth on that thing. Dang. I'm guessing these crappie are in two to five feet maximum. So we're able to find these. We're working these shallow humps right now off the shoreline. Hoping we can get a few more. We got two big ones and one decent sized one. So we should definitely have enough for a catch and cook, but getting a few more would definitely be nice. <laughs> Meg's got one. I'm not sure, it sounds like a bass and looks like a bass, but that's a fish caught. So no big deal. Not what we're looking for today, bud. Something's definitely on mine. There it is, there it is. Little bluegill. I mean, I could keep it, but this one's way too small. Oh, I got one. Crappie. Feels small, whatever it is. Yeah, it's a crappie. 
Alright guys, I caught another one, but I'm not going to keep this one. I'm going to let this one go and get bigger. That one's really not worth the filet. So we have four crappie tonight, a bluegill, a couple bass that you saw Meg catch. I caught a bass as well. I'm trying the beef and chicken stick, the garlic. Primal Urge Foods, save $5 when using promo code MGF, save five. All right, well guys, that's gonna do it for the night. I got the crappie on ice and the cooler. I'm gonna go back out in the morning, try and get a few more. We caught some good ones. The one was about 11 and a half inches. The other one was 10. And then the biggest one was 13 and a quarter. So the one was an absolute slab. Every time I wear this follow the action gear, I always catch some good fish. I always catch some big ones. So I don't know if it's a gear or if it's dumb luck, but tonight was a hell of a night of fishing. I know I caught two small ones as well that I threw back. They were not worth keeping whatsoever. So let them grow, let them get bigger. Like I said, crap here on the ice. I'm gonna see you guys back in the morning. We're gonna pick up right where we left off, head out to the same lake, try and get on some good crappie, some better fish. So we are fully prepared for the catch and cook. We're gonna do it at lunchtime. See you guys there. That's a ginormous smallmouth just sitting right here. Got him. Yeah. But this is a really nice fish. Nat. Guys, I was just bed fishing. I found a big smallie right in front of me. Boy, what a good fish this is. That's a good smallmouth. Damn. All right, guys, so I was crappie fishing. I decided to switch over to bass just to get, try and get a fish in the, in the boat. And this was definitely well worth it. Look, I'm gonna pull this right out of his mouth. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm using. Follow the action. Green pumpkin, purple grape flake with the Z-Man 10 pounds chartreuse hook, and it just brought me this beautiful smallmouth. I'd say this is solid, definitely over three, possibly pushing three and a half, 3.59, so a little over three and a half, guess that one right, what a good fish. We're gonna take a quick picture of this one, we'll be right back. All right guys, I just hit the first crappie of the day. Uh, I'm on this shoreline right now, doing the same technique, slip bobber, pink jig, white little worm thing, mini mite. I got the first crappie of the day, so I'm gonna toss them in the live well, add more to the feast. All right guys, that'll do it for the morning crappie session. We're gonna go back, fry up the crappie we have. I only caught one more, so I think it was the spots I was trying, plus it's midday, it's 1.30, so we're gonna come back out tonight. I'm not sure if we're gonna come on this lake or go my lake, we're not sure yet, but stay tuned for the crappie catch and cook coming up next. So we are in the kitchen right now. I did a pretty good job on these. Uh, the hardest part I think was just kind of getting that rib bone out right there. But I have some decent sized fillets, some thick chunks. The bigger ones obviously were came from those big crappie but we only had four crappie so it's not that much meat but we're gonna get by. I think this is gonna be really good. I'm really excited and I hope you guys like this catch and cook. Here we go. I did the exact recipe Rick did in the walleye catch and cook. Fried in butter with the Cajun seasoning. So he said he has not done this actually with crappie. So I'm excited to try it out. The walleye tasted great like this. And this is already looking pretty similar. I'm very excited to try this. Ow, I just got burned. <laughs> Hey, 
as you can see, it's starting to get pretty flaky. Almost done. Smells amazing. All right, you want your fish white and flaky. This looks just about done. It smells amazing. It looks amazing. Oh my gosh, this smells really good. Ow, it's hot as <laughs> All right, so this last big piece broke apart and I'm not wasting any of this because all this looks amazing. Not really even sure what I was doing. The first fish didn't really go as well, but the second two, the bigger two went really good. I actually filleted on probably the best ever. This is like my third time ever filleting fish. So without really having a teacher or pretty much watching a video or anything like that, I thought I did pretty good. We're gonna try this fish. The first bite, really Cajun-y. I think I might have overseasoned it a little bit, but this may be better than the walleye. For real? Yeah, it's really good. Alrighty guys, that'll do it for today's Catch and Cook. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. The fish was amazing, the Catch and Cook, the seasoning. I thank you to Rick Domini for the recipe. Big shout out to Follow the Action for sponsoring me, making a dream job come true. Wearing my Slap Slayer apparel got me a giant crappie. Whenever I wear my Follow the Action apparel and I target that species that day, I ended up catching a hog, a big fish. If it's smally, large mouth something. It may be a coincidence, it may not. You guys tell me. Go to followtheaction.com, use my promo code McGrathFish for 15% off the entire site, and let me know. You guys go target that species that day while wearing Follow the Action, and let me know if you catch a big fish. Be sure to tag Follow the Action, and then let me know so I can say I told you so. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, I'll see you next week.